A St. Louis scientist devised a new light-based cancer therapy. It's a light source that can kill cancer cells in deep tissues where you cannot possibly shine an outside light. The research is considered a real breakthrough, now receiving substantial funding. Destroying cancer cells wherever they are after just one procedure. For scientists like Samuel Achillifu, nothing seems impossible. When people tell us something is impossible, that's when we get to work. Scientists inside Achillifu's laboratory are hard at work with the hope of killing cancer and saving lives. The professor of radiology and biomedical engineering is using a new light-based therapy at Washington University School of Medicine. Light has long been used to treat cancer, but phototherapy, as it's called, is only effective where light can easily reach, such as cancers of the skin and areas accessible with an endoscope. Now, a chili foo has devised a way to apply a new form of light therapy to deep tissues never before accessible. Metastatic cancer, cancer that has spread to all parts of the body, and cancer that are much deeper in tissue like lung cancer uh, or colon cancer, they couldn't be treated with light. He's delivering a light source directly to tumor cells in a way that the light will destroy cancer cells. We have a lot of radioactive materials that are used in clinics today. And those materials um, are conventionally used to find where cancer cells are. Form of light or uh, radioactive materials that can be detected from the outside of the body. The light from the radioactive materials destroys the cancer cells when it interacts with another injected drug, a chemotherapy drug that's sensitive to light. It's a photosensitive source of free radicals that can be activated by the light to destroy cancer. He's using a novel cancer targeting product and other materials already approved for use in cancer patients. And these molecules capture that light that's coming out from this radioactive material and then transform them into toxic material only inside cancer cells. That's why he calls the procedure stimulated intercellular light therapy. A chili foo is the first to receive a one-of-a-kind award from the Department of Defense, $4.5 million for development of the innovative light therapy. The new method is only being used on mouse models. The first goal is to target advanced breast cancer that has spread throughout the body. Eventually, the way it would work, a cancer patient would come in for a procedure that's simply two injections into the bloodstream. The first injection is the chemotherapy drug that's sensitive to light, and it only binds with cancer cells. And here are the dark sensitive materials that we then immediately come in bind and internalize inside the cancer cells. Then two hours later, after it's excreted from the body, there's a second injection of an imaging agent, which is the radioactive materials contained in radiopharmaceuticals. We then inject the radioactive material that we also find where the cancer cells are. And then once they enter into the cancer cells, they generate a specific type of light that then erupts and generates free radicals. And once these free radicals are generated, they start destroying the cancer cells, which transforms into a dead cell that can then be taken away by our macrophages. Together, toxic, only when they meet in cancer cells. So the side effects from today's chemotherapy drugs that also kill healthy tissues would no longer be an issue. A chili foo's ultimate plan requires nanotechnology to create an aggressive army of molecules leading the attack. We are combining a lot of small molecules into a small volume of material and then injected them like this packet of dynamite that goes into the tumors. Instead of delivering one at a time, you deliver a million at a time into cancer cells. And by doing so, what you then do is augment the therapeutic effect and allows us to simply take a small dose of this radioactive material, get to the cancer and activate all those million drugs inside a small volume of cancer cells. 
The procedure triggers the body's immune response to more effectively and safely finish the job over a period of weeks or months. With the light-based therapy, the researchers can see the cancer cells in their mouse models. The beauty of what we are doing is that that material we inject as second dose actually can be used for imaging. They can see the injections getting the job done. But when it accumulates in an area, you see the intensity of the light to be very bright. So it's like seeing this nice dark object all of a sudden. It's like a Christmas tree. It's so bright that you can see it and you identify it as tumor cells. As the research continues, clinical trials for a chili foods approach using nanotechnology may be five years away. Eventually, the hope is that it can be used to treat all cancer patients. We know our method works very well for metastatic cancer cells, those that have spread. If we are successful there, then we can expand it to prostate cancer, to brain tumors, to lung cancer, and all other parts of the body. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.